dragon! We are back, <laughs> ready to finish your project. Yes, you're going to finish your story. <laughs> First of all, we really are sorry about the last one that we didn't even say goodbye. How unprofessional of us. And that someone didn't finish the project. <laughs> <laughs> um, but today we've got something really exciting yeah, because the lovely Chanello Bailey and her book Freehand Fashion is in our hands and we're Yay. so excited and a huge huge thank you to Pavilion Publishing for sending us both a copy of this because they said that they would be really happy for us to do a vlog and that was amazing I know, for us. I know. I've been so this book for such a long time yes. ever since you know, like the first episode of The Bee when she was on I was like she's gonna have a book and I want that yeah, book absolutely. and I want anything she yeah. has and is wearing. Yeah, very excited to get this book. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff in here. There's uh, the first of all taking measurements, which yeah. is always really useful. I know, especially um, the whole way she did it, because usually it's like bust, waist, and hips. Yeah. Um, but there's like these little like the sh the shoulder. Yeah. Thing. So that is really good. Mm -hmm. So there's loads of different measurements. So there's the basic block. So we've mm. got a oh, bodice oh my block. Gosh, I can't wait to make this. Yeah. It's really detailed. So there's about six pages for each block, which is amazing because a lot of these um, sewing books, I think, just kind of gloss over things a bit. They're like, yeah, a page on each thing will be fine. Mm -hmm. And by the end, you're like, oh no, I wanted a little bit more direction than that. Um, so thank you, Chanello. I think yeah. this book is amazing. I'm so, so happy to, to have it. <gasps> oh and this my is God. What we're okay. making. Yeah. And I got really excited about this <laughs> <laughs> because the models are literally me and Gabby. <laughs> Let's do the pose. <laughs> that that is us. Like if you didn't know, we also modelled. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Um, I, I'll put some pink lipstick on for our shoot. <laughs> I've got red. I've got some a nice red. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my hair out. Kind of. <laughs> we are gonna. We are. We are. Like I've told Gabby, we are gonna recreate yeah. this picture. Oh, so so we're really excited about this because this is drawing straight mm. on no tracing right. no cutting out of patterns oh, yeah. oh, no pdf oh. sticking together all we do is get our fabric okay. out and draw straight onto it uh let's show you our fabrics okay we both shopped our stash yes so. we did no buying it's very no. good um so what have you got megan okay so um i've got this it's all navy for me i've got this sorry, used a bit of it already <laughs> <laughs> okay so I've got this um jersey <laughs> slight change of plan for me I found out the fabric I like honestly this morning I was like I don't really have jersey I looked in my stash and there's just like holes in it I mean <laughs> there's holes in it everywhere <laughs> Gabby was lovely enough to like offer me some stuff from her stash and I can't believe she's willing to part for this I'm like are you okay is this going to affect our friendship because I'm, <laughs> I'm using some of your really nice fabric no, it's <laughs> perfect for it but she's going to give me some of this and it's so lovely the print I'm not usually a floral person but these flowers are just gorgeous. it really really suits you actually I don't know why I, I yeah, should have given you this ages ago. It really suits you and um, it will be perfect. It's from the Textile Centre on eBay, who I use quite a lot. Um, I also shop my stash. I've had this for about a year um, and it's this lovely like chevron navy as well. We're going navy yes. today, girls. <laughs> um, and I'm going to hopefully get the chevron on in the centre of Flat the top line. as well yeah. because that will be really <laughs> cute. Um, I think I got this from a car boot sale again. Um, it's Kilburn car boot. So there's a woman. So she used to be there every week, and I would go just for this woman and pay my 50p charge to get into the car boot just to go straight to her, get what I needed, and then come back. Um, but she hasn't been there recently, and I've been really missing her. So yes, yeah, so that's really nice and stretchy. But yeah, I think it was a pound a meter. Got, um, lots to play with, and we'll start now. All right, we're going to do some measuring. The first thing we need is nape to sleeve, which is the center of your back to where you want the um, sleeve to end, which is the wrist. So we've done that. And then the bust, which is the, um, the fullest part of your bust, right across there. And waist is the smallest part of your 
waste. Yeah, and you know, we're working what, it, what else would it be called? Um, because the wet, because some people think this is the waste. That's your yeah, natural waste, and then yeah. your waste. Yeah, but it's it, it's, it is meant to be the waste measurement is meant to be the smallest part, isn't it? Yeah. So that's just put your hands where you think that is. Yeah, I thought that as well. And then the hip, which is the uh, your bum, basically. Yeah. That's the biggest part as well. It is right in the middle of the Yeah, bum. are you happy with that? I'm very happy. So we're all measured. Now we're going to lay out our fabric and start the instructions. And we're going to go through it with you. Okay, so we are now doing the neckline. Yes. And this is very easy because it's just nine centimetres in. Uh, and just to let you know, I've lined up my um, chevrons. Mm -hmm. I've pinned together the chevrons to make sure that they're right in the centre. And also we've decided to do it right sides out so that we definitely know it's on the right chevron place. And then the next bit is measure and mark 7.5 centimetres down. I'm now just drawing my curve with the French curve thing, it's brilliant. Oh. Cool, let's cut out. Yes. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom corner, okay. opposite the centre folds, measure and mark nine centimetres along the hem. And then halfway along the side seam. Okay, and then another curved line. What do you think of that sweep? Oh, that's a lovely sweep. Is it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. So we're on day two of uh, the Chinello books, mm -hmm. Bat Wing Top. We're trying to finish it today, you know. Yes, we, we are. I think the hardest bit is past, and now it's just, you know, hemmings and seams. Yeah, we're, so we've, we've basically, yeah, we've done all the cutouts of the neckline and the body of the <laughs> side bit. Um, and so now we are pinning our shoulder seams to sew up very soon oh can i please explain about my hair because it's a bit yellow <laughs> so um when my when megan first got here today i was like just washing out the bleach um from doing redoing my roots and uh and brilliantly megan stepped in and went you do realize you've missed most of the back of your hair so we're a bit later because i've finished bleaching my hair but i haven't toned it yet to the white so it's now just uh, I, people call it banana, the inside of a banana peel hair. Oh, that's what they call I can it. See it. Yeah, it yeah. totally is, isn't it? Oh. Totally punching it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, before you sew up the uh, side, you're Come just down left with it. this. <laughs> yeah. Poncho. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you just want a. <laughs> yeah, we're feeling so 70s right now. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I can boogie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, all right, so this yeah. is the beginning of our poncho journey. Yeah, I mean. Um, soon to make into Batwing. Okay, right, let's so, hem, oh let's gosh, hem the side. We're kind of nearly there. It's amazingly quick, this project. Okay, so we are going to use the twin needle to hem our um, bat wing tops with. So we thought we'd do a little tutorial. Should we do that, Megan? Yay! So I'm using a twin universal needle and it's um, three millimetre, which is good for hemming. And I just remove my normal needle, take out the thread, 
remove it, place it to the side, and you put it exactly like you would any normal needle in through the same hole, hold it, tighten it as much as possible. I'm quite a weakling, so my tightening is <laughs> useless, and I have been known to get the screwdriver out at times. So you want to add a second reel of thread of the same thread that, color that you're using. Now with my machine you get this nifty little thing uh, and you just pop it in there which is the little hole for it and then you thread it as usual alongside the one that's already in there. Uh, just totally as usual under that as well. So yeah. on my machine it's got a right hand side uh, little kind of notch here like it's got a left hand side normal one and then there is also, although I can't find it, yeah a little right hand side one as well so the left is on that side and the right is on that side which is quite useful I think so they don't get tangled um, and then you just thread it which I'm really bad at doing so this could take a really long time. <laughs> Megan's you know helping me! <laughs> Megan's threading not, my needles. And then I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you I are. I put the pressure on myself. Yes, you are. No, I'm shaking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah. Oh, she is and so pro. Yeah. So that is a twin needle threaded and ready to go. So um, I'm just going around all the hems that have already been overlocked. So I'm just kind of Fold them over to be a mini hem. It is a really quick sew, apart from the hem. <laughs> that takes so long. I mean, I've done mine now and it's been twin needled throughout. Um, but we've been doing this hem. I reckon it takes about half an hour per hem. I think mine takes a bit longer because I'm, like, yeah. I'm on the, the slower setting. It's um, just crazy how long it takes. But when you have a really big circle, it just takes a very long time to hem. So, shall I go and tone my hair instead? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Shall I? Yeah, go tone your hair. Okay, alright, I'm going to start toning my hair. Are we ready for me to tell everyone why I'm in a bath? <laughs> so, you may have noticed Sorry. that I'm not in my usual get up um, because I finished dyeing my hair. And now it's like 10, if not later, <laughs> and we're, we're leaving in a few hours to get to the weekender. So we are going to finish our top, but I wasn't going to put clothes on again because I'm done. <laughs> the day is officially so day over. Is over. <laughs> and so you get me in my bathroom. <laughs> I think we've gone crazy. Megan's just hiding under the table <laughs> Fold the pieces wrong side together. Yes, have done. Along the shoulder seams. Yes. Megan, oh, come so, on now. Know, what so, are you I'm so sorry. You know, um, my husband really misses me. I'm staying. Um, <laughs> I'm sleeping over at Gabby's. So, do, do you like that? I literally was just like, me! Oh. <laughs> and pin the layers together down the centre. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Have a tape measure. Thank you. Okay, so lay your tape measure, the top of it lining up with the shoulder seams. Yep. Uh, you've done the pins down the centre, and then you mark out, um, first of all, you go 28 centimetres down, and then you add a horizontal pin. Mm -hmm. So that's your bust, this is your waist, and then here's your hip. Um, so we are doing our measurements, we are taking our um, horizontal measurements which they ask you at the beginning and they say take your horizontal measurements, nape to sleeve hem, bust, waist and hip and we have all of them and now we're dividing them all by four and we've done some great maths, uh, well <laughs> we, uh, Megan did it on her phone and um, <laughs> she's charged She's charging it under the table and it's a really short cable so she went downstairs <laughs> under the table to get those measurements. But we're ready to go and what we do is we, we measure out right from the centre line um, all of these measurements and we mark them with a pin 
and then we join them by hand sewing. We're going to do hand sewing on camera. Ah! Really I'm are. so bad at hand sewing. Me too. <gasps> okay, um, so we'll let you know how we get on. So this is my my um, first bit, which I think is better than my second bit. I, Mine too. I peaked too soon. I like fluked it. Mine was really. My first one was really bad though, so I could only go up. Do we take yeah, out our pins? Pins up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And then try it on. <laughs> okay. So we got to the trying on proper bit. Yay! Yay! Yeah, I think we're both really happy with that. I'm Look taking. at the back of this. Lift your arms. Oh my <laughs> goodie art. It's, it's so good. beautiful. It's so lovely, yeah. But um, yeah, the, what we did was just the basted, yeah. so, so it's this such a dramatic top. I was actually, I'm simple. going to admit, I was really worried I wasn't going to like this make because I was just thinking it's not very me and maybe the chevrons are too much. But now it's mm. here. Abba, so knowing me and knowing you, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really happy actually. It's so really now good. all we do is just sew mm -hmm. on top, and then we are done because we've already yeah. hemmed it all. I'm sorry, I'm in my shorts now. Oh dear, <laughs> not normally this <laughs> naked on camera. <laughs> We're gonna sew these up, and then the next time we see you. We are going to film a little video of this, hopefully in the grounds of the weekender at the beautiful mm. Cambridge um, College that we're doing the whole thing at. Um, so we'll say goodbye. Deep in the darkness under the glass of the lake, a fair maiden trembles as she lies awake. Nobody ever told her that she was. Bye.